Alright, all you trash kickers in Doomland. Welcome to another tutorial episode here. It's been a long time since I've done one. Um, uh, last time I did a Slade tutorial was when I actually showed you how to go about uh, importing custom textures in your WAD file. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to go about adding custom monsters to your WAD file. So basically it'll be as similar as the one about custom textures and flats, but this time it's going to be about monsters. So what you're going to do is open uh, Slate up. And this is for maps that are in, in a Z-Doom format. This is not for uh, maps that are uh, in a vanilla format. And the reason why I say that is because if you try to do it in a vanilla format, it's not going to work. Okay? So, th this is for Z-Doom maps only. So, okay. So, what you need to do is open up your WAD file. Um, I just made a map uh, test UDMF because this map is in UDMF. So, okay. So, what you see here, there's nothing here. So, and then what you do is you open up whatever um, what uh, monster WAD file that you downloaded or whatever you made okay or anything you have that involves adding monsters like for example there's annihilator there's um a dark cardinal there's uh the snake amp there's hectabism I mean, there, there's a lot of um monsters out there um i mean i download those off of realm 667 website so um, I'm going to choose the Annihilator, <laughs> simply because I like to include tough monsters, so, okay. So, what you see here is you have the sounds, those are the sounds of the Annihilator in this case. You have the sound info patch, which basically, if you open this up, it shows you, um, you know the the sounds it gives you information about the sounds um, there's and then there's the uh, um, sprites for the annihilator and then there's also the old code I mean you want to use this one for your decorate patch now I want to address to you that in order for custom monsters to work and this is for Z Doom maps okay I'm not talking about maps that are vanilla format um, I could be wrong on this but but for Z Doom maps where you have to have a Z Doom derived source port for uh, the wad to load and, like in order for the monsters to load you have to have a decorate okay you need a decorate patch because without that, you're not going to be able to um, add monsters to your map. So, so what you want to do, okay? See, this is an annihilator. It gives you information. Um, I mean, you can you know change anything. That's um. I mean, you don't want to change the words, obviously, like obituary, health, or anything like that. That stuff you want to leave alone. But anything. Anything next to it, like, you know, the custom message, um, health, radius, stuff like that, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want, um, um, except for, um, these here. I mean, that stuff I would not mess with. I, I would only change whatever's, uh, you know, whatever you can change without messing it up, so... Like the obituary, for example, I mean, I could just uh, change how to go about uh, wording it, so. <laughs> the Cyber Annihilator 911, this said player with its rockets. And you save it. Oh, okay, I don't know why I even did that. Um, but whatever. 
<laughs> I accidentally, uh, I accidentally, uh, change it in this file here, not the test one, but whatever. I, I mean, I can, uh, I can fix it, so. Alright, so in your WAD file, what you're going to need is a decorant. Um, I've said that before, so let's go ahead and include a decorant patch. Go ahead and uh, save it. Next thing you're going to need is the sounds. You're going to need those. Because those are sounds of the monster. So. And the next thing that you'll need is the sprites. Okay. And you copy those into your WAD file. And there you have it. And I'm going to go ahead and convert these to Doom format. Just to make sure that they're compatible with Doom. Not, not other things. So. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think that's all you need for your uh, WAD file, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, if you accidentally made changes to uh, the um, monster WAD file, then you mean you have the ability to not save changes. So, so what it'll do is it'll ask you 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 want to save changes to archive. I'd put no, simply because I just don't want to screw it up or anything like that so okay so now you have the annihilator you, you got the necessary um, equipment for your uh, sprite so and you want to save changes to your wad file the one more you're adding monsters in so okay and then the next thing you do is you open your wad file up with a, a wad editing software so in this case, it's GZ Doom Builder. Test.udmf. And then what happens is when you add a thing to your map, you'll um, the annihilator that you included it's not going to be in the monsters folder no you, you no 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 you're not gonna you're not gonna see the annihilator in a monster section no rather you'll see it in your user defined folder okay so that's uh the monster that you just imported into your wad file so go ahead and add that and there you go you have your annihilator I'm actually going to be putting that in my future maps. <laughs> so. Go ahead and save it there. Um, also, you, you want to add a player start. Okay, make sure that you, you have all the textures on your uh, map. Because if you got any missing textures, then that's going to be a huge problem. But anyway, that's not the um, point of this video, but... Let's go ahead and test this thing. So, um, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, monsters that you can, uh, I mean, you can design your own monsters or you can use whatever's available on the internet. Um, I would use Realm 667 uh, simply because, well, <laughs> I've never actually drawn um, monsters with a um, software before. I've never done that. I don't. I don't have that skill to do it, so what I do is I just use whatever is available, so and I put it in my WAD file. So uh, yeah, you got your test uh, UDMF. Go ahead and copy it and then paste it into your paste it into your Doom engine. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Yeah, I'm doing this just so that you can hear me. Okay. 
And then of course I'm gonna put on God mode. This is just for a demonstration purposes. And then you got See, there you go. And then go ahead. There you go. So yeah, there you have it. I mean, this map doesn't even have an exit, so... I'm just, you know, showing you something, so... Alright. So yeah, um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's how you go about adding custom monsters to your map in a Z-Doom format. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like to uh, see more of my activities and you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Um, make sure you share my content on social media since YouTube's not recommending my content. I'm also PayPal's in the description for anyone who wants to help out on revenue. As always, uh, thank you for watching. I hope that all of you um, have fun adding new monsters to your maps. And I'm signing off now.